In the year 1889, in the Lashai Hills of Assam, a region in India, scientists made a strange discovery. Two lorises, small mammals, were discovered by an expedition. Despite all known species of loris having very short or non-existent tails, these lorises were described as having long, bushy ones. In this photograph, you can see the two captured specimens. While the tail doesn't seem to be visible, the scientist stated that it was hidden by the loris's body. According to a man named T.D. Latouche, who photographed the animals, they were fond of hanging upside down, as the upper animal of the photograph is doing. It will be noticed that in this position, the tail does not hang down, but is supported against the side of the box. Possibly it is prehensile, but this is not clear. The lower animal in the photograph is evidently asleep. It sits with its head tucked under its chest, much as Nicetibus does. The tail is also tucked in under the body. Of course, it's extremely rare that anyone captures a living, breathing cryptid, much less two of them. So why are they still cryptids and not scientifically recognized animals? It's a bit of a funny story. You see, lorises were known for being extremely slow and lethargic, so the scientists just kind of put them in a box and didn't bother to cage them or anything. Of course, once the scientists had their backs turned, the lorises vanished. In fact, that's the last anyone's seen of them. To this day, there are no known new sightings. The only other account of the cryptids comes from a colonel who claimed to have known about them, around the time they were captured. As Dr. Carl Schuker points out in his article about the tailed slow loris, there are many cryptids that are forgotten about, almost as soon as they're discovered. Unfortunately, the tailed slow loris, despite being closer to scientific recognition than almost any other cryptid, has been largely forgotten to history. Since it's not as exciting as Mothman or the Chupacabra, it also hasn't been discussed that much online. Which is a shame, I think more realistic cryptids with interesting stories deserve to be talked about more. Who knows, maybe the tailed slow loris is still out there, waiting to be discovered. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to learn about more cryptids, I'll leave a link to my Cryptid Iceberg series below, where I discuss hundreds upon hundreds of cryptids. If you'd like to support me and appear in the credits of my videos, check me out on Patreon, where I have some exclusive rewards. Links to my social media and Discord will also be below. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.